guys, it's Lizzie. So right off the bat, I just want to say thank you for understanding about yesterday. Um, I did end up going to the hospital, as I said, and I got checked out. They don't really know what's wrong with me, but they did give me medicine and it's helping me feel better, so that's always good. Thank you again for understanding, but I decided today I was gonna do a review on a book that I read this past weekend, which was Hunger by... not Hunger. I've read too many books called Hunger lately. Hungry by H.A. Now, this was the only book that I read during the year -a this past week, um, just because it was super busy the first half of the week, and then I was like, okay, I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't really have a ton of plans, I'll read a lot, and I got sick. I kind of took the week off last week from reading, but I read this book during the readathon, and I thought I would review it for you guys because I did actually really enjoy it. So basically, what the premise of this book is, the dystopian novel where basically people don't eat food anymore. They have this, kind of makes me think of those like yogurt drinks is what it sounds like from the descriptions. But basically it's this drink that you take and it gives your body all the nutrients you need and the energy you need and you don't eat actual food. The main character of this book is Talia Apple and her mother and her grandmother are two of the best scientists of the field that works with this while her father is an engineer who creates all of the technology that basically the company uses. Talia's kind of grown up a little bit on the spoiled side because she likes to fight the system and be like, I'm not going to follow the rules, I'm going to, you know, live closer towards the older world. I'm going to wear clothes that my grandmother wore when she was a teenager. I'm going to not dye my hair. I'm not going to wear temporary tattoos that all the kids wear and all that. I'm not going to change how I look. And she's been allowed to like kind of get away with it because of how influential her parents are. Talia has this issue where she is getting hungry and she's having like her stomach growl and stuff, which shouldn't be happening with the formula. So her mom is like recalculating and she's like, this doesn't make sense. But Talia ends up meeting a boy named Basil and he shows her a scent machine basically that they can smell foods at this how they would smell without actually having them because it is actually illegal to have or consume any food and basil kind of introduces her to this world where hey it's okay to feel this way because he also is growing hungry now basil invites talia to come to a meeting where a bunch of people who all feel this way are meeting up there's people doing interpretive dance, there's people showing different things. Basically it's kind of like a talent show almost. Um, but then this woman, Anna, gets up and she starts talking about how things used to be and how they could be. And then she takes a tin and eats, I believe it's like a piece of bark basically, which is much more towards the pika side of things, which if you don't know what pika is, it is a uh, mental disorder, I guess is the best way to phrase it, where basically you eat things that are not supposed to be eaten, but your body is telling you that you want to eat them. So like bark, dirt, lint, those kind of things. I don't know a ton about it. I know about it a little bit from this book, but more from my gastronomy class uh, back freshman year. So it's been a while since I've looked over the details, so this might be a little bit off. But Anna actually gets ends up getting arrested for this because, again, it's illegal to eat. Basil and Talia flee the scene and you can see Talia leaving so her mom decides well her mom and her mom's boss basically decide that the safest thing is for them to put Talia into this rehab to kind of put this situation on mute. Be like oh she didn't know what she was doing she's mentally unstable and all this other stuff but not even 24 hours into being in this mental institution Talia knows something is up something's weird something is going on. Now Basil and Basil's friend end up breaking Talia out of this mental institution and Talia and Basil end up going on the run. Um, because while Talia is running from things, Basil is running towards something. So that's where I'm going to kind of leave it off. That leaves probably the last third to half of the book um, that I didn't talk about because having it be a surprise for me was the best thing. Um, I did end up giving this book four out of five stars. This book totally 100% pulled me in. I got into it way quicker than I have with any other dystopian novel really because um, it was very easy to grasp the world and just get pulled into the story. The reason I gave it four out of five stars however was the ending. I felt like there were some things that could have been talked about more 
or where they were almost left off to a point where there could be a second novel, but I believe this book is a standalone. I know it came out last year, I believe this time, because I remember seeing this when I was on X-Turn. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this book. It was a really good read. I definitely would recommend it to any of you that like um, dystopian novels. I myself am a huge fan of dystopian, so that book was amazing for me. If you've read Hungry, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments, or if you have a review, link to it. Also, if you have any other comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know you liked it. Also, if you would like to see more videos somewhat like this, hit that subscribe button so the videos show up in your subscription box, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.